Okay? Hi, good day. In this video, I'm going to teach you on how to draw a basic small floor plan so you can draw an elevation for that easily. So the recommendation to draw a floor plan if you are willing to design your own is to have it rectangular. So mas maganda it is in rectangular shapes. So let's say, uh, let's decide that our floor plan is only having a lot area of, let's say, uh, 7,000 by 8,000 millimeter. Okay. So this is the lot area of our floor plan. And if you are not yet familiar with the basic dimensions of the different rooms of floor plan, let's say the kitchen, the living room, the bedroom, you can proceed to this site. Okay, that is tualida.com slash design slash rules. So you can verify some of the standards of living room, kitchen, kitchen, bedroom, and so on. Okay, so let's proceed to the uh, here. Uh, to the uh, almost the last part you have here that the living room minimum is 3.4 meter width and 2.9 wide is allowed for two, two rooms so let's say we decide to use only uh, 3.5 okay so from our given floor plan we can divide this one from here since it is 7000 so we can set that this one is our living room Okay, so ito yung living room. Then this is our, let's say we, we put some garage for our basic floor plan. Then also, in this site, you have here a car. If you want to put a garage, okay. Here you have 5.5 for a uh, length of a pickup truck or a long, long vehicle. So, we can use 5.5 for our garage or if you want you can only use this six much it is much uh, longer since you have here a stair for your entrance or this one so use only five so from here you can uh, draw a circle having a radius of five thousand so this will be your garage okay so you are now all set to draw the other rooms from our given, from our floor plan. Okay, so let's have the parameter that was given to us for our final plate. So these are first, all units must be in millimeter. So that's why I'm using uh, thousands instead of 7 by 8, 5 by 3.5. 5 by because our required units is in millimeter okay so now for the columns I can just have the columns here on each corner plus on each edge anyway you can learn more of that when you are now taking up building designs okay but before that also if you proceed here you have columns must be yellow these are the following layers to be followed so you must follow the guides since it is it is mandated on your final plate okay so let us have first the layer for the columns okay so i'll have to type here columns then the color is yellow here then also the line weight is 50 a 60 okay so once you are done with that can now draw a column using that layer using a rectangle symbol that is 3000 by 3000 okay then I can copy this one from here then also here okay then down so or I can just mirror it a okay, mirror using this mirror this to column using this midpoint as your mirror line okay then plus copy one on your middle 
Okay. So, same this same thing with this one. You can just mirror this and use this one as your mirror line. Okay. So now, the next thing that you're going to do is to have a wall. And the wall must be in cyan and the wall width is 100 to 150 millimeter. So we can use only 100 since we have a larger columns. So I can add here walls. And the color of the walls is cyan. Then the light weight is 40. Okay. So I can just offset this this rectangle by 100 then later I can just I, I can just change the layer of that okay so I have now a columns a wall then next is the doors okay so I can now have the doors here by the way since this is a garage so this is must be open from here and I can add a column from this side since that is very long span. Okay. So I can add a columns here. Okay, you can just copy this one of it and you can just create another copy here. Okay. Since this is a garage, so let's say this is a firewall and this must be open, you can just in this one okay remove uh, some external or unused lines then also i can offset this one since i am using wall which is 100 i can offset this either going out by 100 here so this one i can offset this going here so I can now set this one as layer wall and this one also is layer wall. Okay. So next thing that I'm going to do is I trim the parts for the kitchen. Then uh, this is for the car garage and this is for the uh, the living room. So I can also have my bathroom here or here okay so i can have my bathroom here usually the bathroom is only 2 2.5 is very large you can offset this one by 2 or i can explode this first okay. then offset this by 2000 going here okay. so this is now my bathroom so that's a very large bathroom so imagine the length of this one is almost 3 Three meters so that is large enough okay so also if you want to put a stair here since uh, let's say uh, you are planning to have a second floor okay you can offset this one usually the stair is only 1000 that is uh, large enough or you can use 750 this there okay. you make it 900 okay. okay so let's see this that search there that is much property so this line will going to uh, this line will going to adapt from this line okay so next is the doors you will now go into draw it doors so let's say this is your uh, wall so also you have to offset this by 100 going here or going out it's up to you okay so I'm going to delete some of the properties or the lines that are not included in our floor plan okay so let's say this is also 900 so you say let's say you have a landing here okay, okay. so explode this first okay 
offset 900 okay so the step is almost uh, 200 millimeter so let's offset this one by 200 one It's very small. Make it 250. 1, 2, 3, say 4. So, you can now remove this one. Okay, yeah. This is a wall, so I can remove this one. And this is your landing. And let's offset this again by 250 for our stairs. So, Okay, so I can put here a broken line since this stair must be on the second floor. Okay. Match attributes. Okay. So you can now remove this one. So now, the lacking is the hatch of the columns and also the windows okay, and the doors. Okay. So let's say you have here a door. Okay. Usually the door is, let's say, 50 millimeter. Okay. So let's say 900. Okay. Circle here. Yeah. Then fifty. Nine hundred. Okay. And this is the wall, which is one hundred. Okay. You can block this one. So you can easily copy and move it okay and also if you're going to refer here your door must be 900 millimeter these are the following opening so it must be 90 degrees okay so we create a layer for that which is door okay. then it must be green and the line weight you verify the line weight first that is 0.40 okay so this is now your door okay. so you can block it let's block it so you can easily insert it door okay here is the insertion point then select object so this one enter then press ok this is now a block so i can move this one so allow exploding so you can uh, easily edit okay so let's see this is the door here so you have here now a door so i do not uh, measure the clearance here i just estimate it so also here a door you can uh, have a door here insert block okay. Also. Okay. then for the bathroom you can have a door but you can scale it by 0.8 anyway we can use it Just rotate it first. Okay. So let's say we put the door here. Okay. And flip it by using mirror. Okay. Place it here. Okay. So you have now a door for your bathroom. So for the 
back door, you can also insert another door here, like that. So you have now a lot of doors. So you can easily insert that by using a block. Also, you can use attributes. Okay. Uh, let's say this one is label. Label. A prompt. You can insert rooms as the prompt. Then default is you can just write rooms. Then again, you can use a uh, middle center. Then if you're going to base our text label here, so it must be 250 for the line width. Okay, then here and shift right click, insert between two points. Okay, so now uh, let's change the layer of this one to text, text label, text label, and it must be also green based on our. guide so it is also green by layer it is green then that is point 30 okay close okay change the layer then you can block it by typing label here or you can have a text label big point for the insertion, so you can use center and select object. So this one, enter, then okay. Okay, so rooms, let's say garage. Okay, you can easily insert that and you can see easily edit it. Okay, so you can move it here. Okay, using this one to insert text label here, so you can use now living room. Okay, leaving room. Okay. okay. So this one is TNB. You can use TNB for toilet and baths. Okay. Okay. And another one. Insert here kitchen. Now you have a simple floor plan. So what to be next to be done is to dimension it. So again, if you're going to follow again the standard dimension is red 0.13. So we use 0.13 for our dimensions. So we're going to add another layer naming dimensions and that is red and that is 0.13. Okay, so now for the property of the dimensions, uh, let us have first dimensions and for the annotate, uh, sorry, this one. So I can use ISO 25 as the copy, so I can now use another style, but this time I'm going to name it as floor plan. Okay, continue. Then let's have the different parameter for dimensions so you have floor plan you have um, architectural tick so you must follow that one so you must use architectural tick next is align with dimension line so from the text align with dimension lines then fit is use overall scale of 100 next is this one Decimal to decimal places the precision and decimal separator is period then trailing okay, Primary units to decimal Separator is period check your trailing then okay then close so let's dimension that one uh, Let's see if our Okay So you have that as our dimensions Here 
So you have now a basic floor plan. Okay. So here also. Okay, so this is 3,000. Continue here. So you have 500. Okay, also here. Seven thousand, then linear here. Up to here, this is three thousand five hundred. Okay, so we have a complete set of dimensions. So what we're going to do next is the we copy this one here, or we can copy it later once we have the attributes. So again, we're going to draw a circle. This is the attributed grid here. Then that is 4,500. Ah, sorry. I think that is 450. So we may check first the reference. So we have it here. This one, that is 450. Then the text is 175. Okay. Then we attribute it. ETT def. Okay, the tag is label or LL from the given. Then prompt is label. So you just follow the required parameters given on the guidelines. Middle center, then standard, then this is 175. May I lock it, it again? So that's 175. Then, okay, shift, right click. In between buttons then now you have the LL so let's block that one as a label or grid and use grid pick point so I can have the center then select object entirely enter hello exploding then okay so let's have it a okay so now I can copy this one here Sorry, copy so the center. Can draw here a line manually so let's see this is 1500 okay. another here 1500 same with this one here also same meeting with this one okay okay so now I can insert So you have now a basic floor plan. So I can now copy this one. So I can draw the second floor. Okay. So from this one, I can have the walls. Okay, from here. I can offset this one by 250. Then I can now remove this. Okay. 
Okay. So this time, this is now your second floor, so I can extend this one. Okay. I can now delete all the labels here. Then you can put here again a a bathroom. Then from this one, you can now uh, you can remove this one. Okay. Then you can make the rooms here or here. Okay. So let's see. Uh, I'm just going to measure this one. This room is let's say three thousand five hundred nothing or three thousand hundred. Okay. Okay, so this is now your room. Offset by one hundred going down. Okay. Then we can now insert this is a room or you can delete this one. Okay, so I can make this as a room. Okay. Okay. I can copy this one. Align here. Okay. Then I'll extend this one. Like that. Okay. So this is your uh, master bedroom since you have here a bathroom. This is another room. Now we're going to insert the doors. Okay, so we can have here the door. Here, okay. Also here, so I can flip this one. Okay, flip. Okay, rotate. If you are using dynamic block, it's much easier to control. Here. Okay. Then we can have the door here also. Or here. You can have the door here. Okay. okay. Flip. Using mirror. Then delete the source. Okay. So now we can place it here. Sorry. I missed the endpoint. Okay. okay, so I have now a bathroom uh, a bedroom, so I can now insert another text label here. So I can have bedroom one. Bedroom two. Okay, here. And you can have it this one as master bedroom. Insert text label. Okay, so now you have a complete set of your floor plan. Okay, you have a dimensions, you have doors, columns, you can hatch the column, but anyway. Uh, you can just edit it. So now, what you're going to do is to to insert furniture. Okay, so the insertion of the furniture or the inserting of block using furniture, you will have it on the next video tutorial. Okay, thank you and good day.